Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. These guys, which in this case are the Americans, are lacking uh, self-awareness. They uh, don't understand the, the situation. They don't understand uh, what's going on or, or they're just, you know, or they just say it because they have to say it. What happened? Do you know that Zaporozhia nuclear power plant, correct? That the Russians took over on, I think, on the 4th or, or 5th of March 2022, remember? After about, what, a week and a half or two weeks of uh, the invasion and so on. All right, they still have it, the, the Russians. And now we find out that actually over there in the Zaporozhia nuclear power plant, there were some uh, American technology involved in order to maintain and do some little things. I didn't know that. I just found out reading this article. And um, the Americans are warning the Russians that uh, they should not touch it because that would break the uh, US law. <laughs> what do you think the Russians will do? I think they're going to show a big, big middle finger to these guys. So you are sending uh, weapons to kill us, to the Ukrainians, and you tell us that we're going to violate the US law or something, and we are all... <sighs> Let's see what's going on over here. It's pathetic, and I think it's crazy. It's like a toddler uh, uh, reasoning here. So, Ukrainska Pravda, April 18th, 2023. US warns Russia access to secret american technologies at zaporozhia nuclear power plant denied ooh, ooh, ooh. i think the americans are going to get a big sledgehammer i'm going to smash that and put their uh secret technology that they also have all right the u.s department of energy in a letter to the russian state corporation rosatom has warned the russian side of the consequences oh wow please don't beat me mommy you're in charge of me Consequences of interference in secret nuclear technologies located at the now occupied Zaporozhia nuclear power plant. I think Rosatom took a big dump on the letter, I think, and sent it back. What do you think? In the letter dated March 17th, which was reviewed by the American TV channel, Andrea Ferkel, or Ferkile, I don't know what the hell, the head of the US office of the non prolifer <laughs> So Andrea sent it. Okay, Andrea, you're the head of the US office. Great job. Of the non proliferation policy of the US Energy Department. So she's in charge. And she sent that to the Russians. <laughs> All right, told the general director of Rosatom. I'm assuming somehow that this general director is not an, an Andrea, or a, no, I think he's a Ivan. Of Rosatom, the Zaporozhia nuclear power plant, and I'm quoting, contains nuclear technical data of American origin, oh, in Ukraine, which are under the export control of the United States government. Uh, now no more, because uh, we, we, we changed um, ownership, so all that is void, baby doll. Oh, you took it illegally, really? Well, I'm going to tell you, not Ferkel, I'm going to say Andrea. Hey, and Andrea. Andrea, I will explain to Andrea how the Russians view this war and how they view her warning. So, Andrea stated that Russian individuals are restricted from accessing such data. <laughs> now, isn't she a toddler? I think so. That's a, an adult with a child brain such data and technologies without a separate approval from the u.s secretary of energy oh so they're gonna wait the russians are gonna wait for the u.s secretary of energy to approve it or not i'm so concerned i can't wait to see what they will decide for the nuclear power plant that is in my hands <laughs> otherwise <sighs> my god now the threat comes it will be considered a violation of u.s law jesus christ we're done we're toast um, we got to call Andrea back and ask her, so can you please ask the U.S. Secretary of Energy to allow us uh, to do that? And they will say no. Oh, my God, we're screwed. I think we, we got to give back the nuclear power plant, don't you think? Jesus Christ. The U.S. Department of Energy confirmed to CNN, 
uh, their outlet that the letter to Rosatom is authentic. Ooh, so that's serious. <laughs> Ooh, but declined to comment on its contents. At the same time, it is not known whether the Russian side responded to it. Uh, I told you how they responded. They took their pants down, squatted, took a dump on it, folded it back however they could and sent it back to Andrea. The Zaporozhia nuclear power plant has been occupied by Russian troops since mid-2022. Constant Russian shelling. Why would they Russian shelling if they have it under occupation? I think uh, the other side is shelling something that the Russians have. Why would they shell it if I have it? <laughs> I'm shelling my own car that I took it from you? Or you want to get it back and shoot at me while I'm driving your car? I think the second option is the good one. Which Moscow blamed Ukraine for? <sighs> I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. Are you smoking something? He repeatedly disconnected, has repeatedly disconnected the plant from the Ukrainian power grid physically. The Zaporozhia nuclear power plant is serviced by Ukrainian personnel under occupation and is managed by Rosatom. Or they can quit. They can quit. And the Russians, being baboons, will not be able to replace them. Is that what you're saying, Andrea? Andrea. The U.S. involvement in the operation of Zaporozhia nuclear power plant before the full-scale invasion of Russia was known earlier. Not to me, but they didn't have to tell me. In June 2021, the Nuclear Power Department of U.S. Department of Energy reported that it had helped introduce new maintenance procedures at the Zaporozhia nuclear power plant reactor. In April, the U.S. Department of State Department added companies associated with the state corporation Rosatom to the sanctions list for the first time. Yeah, they did that and the Russians are done giving a fuck. So, let's see. Let, exp let, let me explain uh, Miss... Um, uh, let me just take a little... Cheers. Um, Andrea, how things are viewed from the Russian side. This is how the Russians are, see are seeing this. Not me, Russians. According to them, uh, America tries to destroy us. They move their infrastructure uh, under the umbrella of NATO, closer to our borders. That's uh, a threat to our national security, like you would consider it. And we told you, back off. You said you, and you put uh, missiles in Romania and Poland, threatening directly our systems. And you, like uh, uh, Weasel said that, that's to deter uh, Iran. Just pick this and look and see where Iran is, Europe is, and uh, Poland, Romania, and uh, you be the judge. All right, so that's another thing. Then they said, well, we're going to get uh, Ukraine in NATO and you're going to push even further closer to you, which would be your reaction time in case of a nuclear war uh, attack from you, which you have it in your doctrine, preemptive strikes. Russia doesn't have it uh, as of now. You could hit us and by the time we respond, you could annihilate us. So, no. Nah. So let's, uh, we want some uh, uh, security guarantees from you guys because uh, we are threatened. The other guy says, no, we're not going to talk to you. You. All right, then we're going to do this. We're going to have to invade. It's national security. We're going to do that. Well, no, you're not. Yes, you will. No, yeah, yeah. Boom. There you have it. Now, you impose, Americans impose sanctions on Russians, did all that, supply weapons, uh, intelligence, this and that, and what else? Airplanes are coming to Ukraine, tanks are coming, uh, high mars are coming, uh, all the things are coming over there. And you, you Andrea, you tell the Russians that they break the, you, they violate the US law about the nuclear power plant that they got in their hand, designed by the Soviets, which implied Russians, Ukrainians and others. Are you crazy? I mean, under the story, which is just a story, I just, you know, the story is that the Russians are saying, hey, that's the way we see things. It's like in a marriage. You have an argument with your wife or with your husband, uh, if you're a wife, and you, you discuss it. Hey, baby doll, this is the way I see things. And he says, no, uh, jerk off, that's the way I see them. Well, let's, let's see where, where is the disconnect. Uh, let's start with the beginning. Are these spectacles? Yes, eyeglasses. Oh, it's you. Okay. Is this a mouse? Yes. Okay, so we have to agree with certain things as a foundation that we agree we see them in the same way. And then we go higher and higher and higher and once or deeper and deeper and deeper, however you look at it. And then after that, you're obviously going to start seeing certain things differently. 
and you again bring okay let's see how do you see this how that's how you negotiate how you talk how you discuss how you solve problems as adults like children mine all right now basically nato russia mine got ukraine got that get lost all right that's how they treated these guys now i'm not defending the russians even though it might sound so what i'm trying to say is these guys ignored these guys is uh, uh concerns if you say that you're a partner you would discuss them no there was not such a thing anyway they just um, that you should have no concerns well i do no you shouldn't because i tell you wait a minute you got guns pointed at me and you tell me to take it easy because i should not be concerned you tell me anyway so that's the way Andrea decided. She had to do her job at her level of uh, big level, actually, that you can't believe. But she had to do it. But if you look at the, how the Russians see all this Ukraine thing with uh, those guys, do you think that they give a about the violating the US uh, code and law? And Do you think so? They're sanctioned anyway. They, it's more than that. It's beyond you're violating it can you ask us for permission are you crazy it's ridiculous anyway the russians will don't give up about telling you that they're gonna just work if they didn't work on that uh, the secret technology they probably took it out they closed everything took it out put their own replaced it and say uh das vidania nasdorovia whatever see you never bye thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just.